A female classmate handed a bottle of poison to the teacher. Instead of getting angry, the teacher not only drank it with joy, but also underwent a startling transformation. That teacher's face, initially yellow, turned iron gray, emitting smoke from the mouth, with horns and wings growing on the head. However, he eventually reverted to the original state, even sharing the formula of the poison and instructing the female student to concoct a more potent one. This peculiar teacher, who had destroyed the moon several months ago, had plans to annihilate the Earth. His movement speed exceeded 20 times the speed of sound, rendering all Earth's military forces helpless to make the process of destroying Earth more entertaining. He made a deal with the military to become a teacher in a class. If the students could successfully assassinate him, he would abandon the plan to destroy Earth. Every day, the students attempted to save the Earth by trying to assassinate him. The classroom became a battlefield with a constant hail of bullets. The students tried various methods to assassinate the teacher. In an attempt to aid the students, the military created a war machine disguised as a student and infiltrated the class. However, facing such a creature, no weapon could be effective. Until one day, a newly transferred student brought a turning point for the assassination attempts. He revealed a familial connection with the teacher, being his brother. Moreover, his hair could transform into tentacles, enhancing the attack's intensity. For a moment, the teacher seemed to be in a dire situation due to the student's attack. However, leveraging his speed advantage, he effortlessly secured victory. Witnessing the student's suicidal attempts as futile, he decided to offer the man assassination tutorial. During the subsequent classes, he utilized his speed to provide one-on-one -on -one tutorials for the entire class. There was even time to take breaks outdoors. The students gained a completely new understanding of the teacher's abilities. 